Why are dolphins and whales seemingly actually altruistic, such as swimming around humans in the presence of sharks? Is there an evolutionary element? There's always an evolutionary element. I am simply going to make the phylogenetic comment, which otherwise you would make, and then oh, I'm going to let you man. pick up the altruism question, um, <clears throat> which is that dolphins are whales. Um, so saying dolphins and whales is, is fine, um, but it's like saying humans and monkeys or humans and mammals. Uh, we, it is true that we are a distinct piece of that group, um, but just like dolphins um, <clears throat> evolved from whales and are therefore still part of their original group, um, so, so it is true for us and primates and mammals and vertebrates and all of these things. But if you say whales, including dolphins, then people like us will know that you're in on the, the phylogenetic reality of the thing. Um, and it doesn't really matter that much for most questions. No, it does. It does. Because if you, if you just simply sign up for the phylogenetic interpretation of this stuff and you say, um, you know, whales, including dolphins... That's one level of insight that you get just from simply having understood that that is a nested set. But then you can say stuff like dolphins, including orcas, right? And the point is each of these things tells you something really cool about the evolution of these creatures. So anyway, what was the question though about altruism? Why do... Are they... Do, they seem to be altruistic, like when they swim around humans in the presence of sharks. Are they... What's going on? Yeah, well, first of all, you're talking about some among the toothed whales, which is, I think, what you're talking about. You're talking about highly intelligent creatures who have certainly noticed that we humans seem to control a good deal of um, stuff surrounding their well-being. So it is possible. So let's just, just as long as we're on phylogenetically, you said toothed. So basically you've got baleen whales. Whales is a good group that evolves from... Um, Hippos. Yes, Hippo, hippos. Hi I'm trying to think hippos. of what's the what's the big group called. Uh, I can't think of what the including group in Latin is called anyway. It's something cetacea. Oh, um, uh, uh, cetardiodactyls. Cetardiodactyls, yes. Um, so um, having gone back into the ocean, you've now got whales, and they're grouped into baleen and toothed whales, and the toothed whales are basically all those things that we know of as dolphins, including orcas, and then there's one, one big-bodied whale that's toothed. Oh, uh, sperm whale. Sperm whale, yeah. Sperm and then whale. everything else is baleen whale, and they are um, they don't tend to engage in this sort of thing. So you're probably pretty much talking about toothed whales and maybe not even all toothed whales. Not even the, all toothed yeah, yeah, first of all, there's a whole group of toothed whales that are um, bizarre and little known because they're pelagic. The beaked, oh, it's bigger than what I just said, then. It includes more than the... I believe beaked whales is a subclade of toothed whales. Mm -hmm. Sperm whales is a subclade of uh, of toothed whales. Hmm. Dolphins. Um, what else? Anything else in there? No, Dolphins and porpoises, I believe, together yeah. inside of toothed whales. Um, <clears throat> in any case, so there's a question about whether it's altruism, whether it is reciprocal altruism. In other words, does doing well by humans result in some kind of benefit sometimes? Is it a misplaced adaptation? So for example, when mm. people have been seen to be drowning and dolphins have come to their rescue, it is possible that that is a dolphin responding to uh, a sense of a uh, fellow Urgency traveler in, in, in yep. need, or it could be that it has a reflex to, um, to take a, dar uh, to preserve a drowning member of its pod by putting up to, up to the surface and that it's misdirected. Um, my guess is that dolphins are too smart for it to be an accident yeah, that way. Yeah, they're not, they're not confused about that not being a dolphin who's drowning if it's a person. Yeah, I mean, you know, there are lots of reflexive things that even a smart creature can get involved in, but this seems awfully complex. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, probably not altruism, but... Um, uh, but collaborativism yeah. collaborativism a kind of reciprocal altruism uh and yeah i mean dolphins are like us extremely social and long-lived and they have generational overlap and yes they live in extended family groups and they you know they care for members of their growth but group both kin and not and um the idea of expanding that sense of of family of group um to to include someone not even of their species is something that you know, frankly, most humans couldn't manage. 
Um, I, it seems, um, but but maybe many dolphins can. And actually, I'm not sure that's even fair what I just said because there are a lot of people who may not be able to see the value in, say, uh, preserving wild animals who still love their dog, yep. for instance. I would agree with that. Yeah. I am concerned, though, you gave a long list of similarities between us and dolphins, and you did not do the work of the balancing list of differences. Oh, no. Yes, yes. I did not. I just so, go for it. Do it. Do um, it. So I studied uh, whales for a time in college. Mm -hmm. I was in a marine mammals program, and I did learn that they are aquatic. That's one major difference. They are very I didn't even know. squeaky, um, yeah. and they have flippers. Well, it's a, the squeakiness is probably on account of all the salt water. They probably just need more grease. Uh, nope, because freshwater dolphins are also squeaky. They are. Yes. You've heard this, or you've just read it in a book? Um, I prefer not to comment. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. We've gotten silly because we've been in front of a camera for too many consecutive minutes. That's right. 